need to start talking about the time value of money. Because if, I don't know about your, over your lifetime, but if you think about uh, how much a, a carbonated beverage costs today out of a machine versus what it cost uh, when you were younger, you know that the price has gone up, hasn't it? So what happens over time is your purchasing power seems to erode, or at least in the United States with the dollar being what it is, it's eroding. So what we need to think about is taking different decisions that we might have and putting them all in today's dollars so that we can make a decision. So for example, what if your grandma comes to you and says, I'm willing to pay you $24,000, a single sum, but you're going to have to wait 12 years for it. So in the future, I'm looking at $24,000. So what does that mean in terms of today's dollars? Well, if I say, uh, what is it worth today, that's finding the present value of this future sum of $24,000. Well, how do I do it? Well, there's something called present value tables, and there's present value tables for a single sum, like this one, or for an annuity, which means multiple payments. So here's the difference. If I go and do a single payment, I am going to use table 3 in your text, and that's the present value of a single sum table. And what you do to find the present value is you'll take the 24,000 and in table 3 you'll look at, well, how many years do I have to wait? 12. And what kind of interest rate am I assuming over those 12 years? 6%. The 12 and the 6% will always be given to you. And then I would go into the table and find the value. And if I look in the table, the value that I find in table 3 is 0 0.497. I will then multiply 24,000 times 0 0.497 and find in today's dollars that 24,000 is 11,928. So what does that mean? If grandma came to you and said, hey, I'll give you 24,000 12 years from now, or I'll give you 11,928 today, he'd say, whatever, because it has the same value given these assumptions. Now, what if instead grandma comes to you and says, I'll give you 12 annual payments of 2,000 apiece, still 6%. What is that worth in today's dollars? Since it's multiple sums, we'll go to table 4 instead. So if I go to the present value of an annuity table, table 4, I will do the following. I'll take the $2,000. I know that I'm going to table 4. My n is, um, oops, my n is 12 because it's 12 periods, and my interest rate is still 6%. Now, if I go to table 4, I find the value to be very different. It's 8.384. 8.384. If I multiply $2,000 times 8.384, I find that the present value is 16000 768. So, here we go. If grandma comes to you and says, do you want 12 checks of $2,000, in other words, a total of $24,000 over the next 12 years, or do you want $16,768 today, you'd say, whatever because it's worth the same purchasing power. Now, looking at all of this, how do you think you should take the money from Grandma? Wait 12 years and get $24,000, or take checks of 2000 over the next 12 years? 
I'd go for this one, wouldn't you?